Howdy guys, this is Kevin. I know there's been a lot of people want to see the inside and outside of our motorhome. So what we're going to do is going to first do a walkthrough of the inside of our motorhome. Uh, our motorhome, we named her Stella, um, which is means following the stars. So we kind of like that name. So let's go in and do a walkthrough of what Stella looks like on the inside. So let's go on inside. Okay, we're inside of Stella now. So we've got Rita behind the camera today. So say hello, Rita. Hey, Rita. Okay, we're going to have her do a full shot so you can do a full length of the inside of her motorhome from the front to the rear. We'll actually do a complete walkthrough, kind of show you a little bit of everything that's in here, what we like, and some things we might change as we go. So we're going to start up here at the front. So these... Uh, Two captain's chair, very comfortable by the way. They do rotate all the way around. We don't rotate ours. If we had some guests that come in here, we probably would, but they, they do rotate. We actually use this as a ramp for the dogs because uh, Lexi and Richie love to get up here, lay in the sun. And so we actually, if you look up here, we actually created a little bit of a reed actually, made a carpet um, protector to put up there so when they lay, helps easier for vacuuming and cleaning. Here on the cockpit area, over here on the far left, we have um, spin around here so you can get it pointed out. We have our T our TPMS, which is monitoring our tires, our ODB reader, so we can watch transmission stuff like that. We got our full navigation system. We actually I hook my phone up. My phone sits right here. I hook it up in there. I can see the Jeep being pulled behind. Plus, I have navigation. Of course, all your tachometer and everything like that. Right over there is your LCI. Your Black jack level, so when you put the jacks down, they're right in this area here. So that's where the jacks are on the Georgetown GT7. This is Rita's navigation, so she's the one that keeps you going in the right path. So her complete setup is right here. So she follows along with the navigations, and it's a Garmin uh, RV. Um, device so we've got all of our weight our height and everything plugged in so that we can make sure we don't get ourselves into trouble running down the road one thing we like about the georgetown is everything's controlled either by my phone or by the precision plex so the precision plex is right here you control your lights your generator your water pumps um, your slides everything is controlled right there your, your battery charging this right here is our inverter converter. And then that's our surge protector that's telling us what's going on outside. Also, if this precision plex were to go out, everything can be controlled here manually. So this is a backup to the precision plex. This right here controls the bunk that's above. So the bunk's electronic can come up and down, which is pretty decent. We don't really use it. So we actually might convert that to storage. Now, one thing we do, What's interesting is this is a 30 inch wide door. And so hopefully we don't have to do it, but if we have to take something like the refrigerator, we should be able to get the refrigerator and stuff out through that door, which is a plus. So let's move on inside. This is the what they call the galley area. It's got a skirt state or skirt state, <laughs> skirt uh, sink that kind of wraps around, which is a nice feature. That's uh, some more storage. Rita's got, it, got us all organized down there as well. Again, there's storage everywhere around here, which is important in a motorhome. We have a lot of these puck lights that are around. So you just push them, turn them off and on. Comes with a convection microwave, which we really, really like. We didn't think we would, but you can bake in it. It browns perfectly. So this is a much better option than having the stove. So we do have a stove down below. And as you can see, we've used it one time. You're currently using it for storage. What our plans are long term as we go more full time into this RV, we're going to actually have this removed and put in cabinets. I mean, sorry, drawers. One thing that's interesting, too, that's about these these drawers is in the Georgetown GT7, they're all soft close. Right. So that's a, just a really nice feature. Just, you know, makes it a little bit classier. Again, storage up here. All the lights in the motorhome are LED. So on this side of it, this is what sold us on this floor plan is the 
super wide 100 inch theater seats. Um, this host, this is a whole slide. So this slide comes all the way in. It comes into about right here. So you have full walkway. You can just walk normally all the way to the refrigerator you can open, to the half bath, all of that. So all of this is completely open. This is the dinette. The dinette actually folds all the way down and you can make it into a bed. Of course, we don't ever use it because it's just reading and I and we don't usually have guests staying overnight. You have storage down below, which is really nice as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move in here to a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about the, um, oh, I forgot to point out. So that's Lexi's little area. So she loves that sleeping area. So we put her a bed in there called a calming bed. And that's kind of like her spot. That's where she likes to lay. If she's not laying there, she's laying up there with Richie. As you can see, Richie's laying up there in the front. They're kind of spoiled a little bit. Should point out too the big windows. So these windows are really phenomenal. You can also has nightshades that come in down. That's the nightshades as well as day shades that come all the way down. So that's a good feature on both sides as well. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about the couch. So the couch is super comfortable. Rita sleeps there a lot, and uh, it's just just a really cool, cool little layout. What's nice about them as well is they have this pull down feature right here. So you got your cup holders, then you have your regular electrical outlet plus your USB charging outlets. So you're sitting here watching TV or whatever, you can keep all your devices charged. All of the seats vibrate. We had to put these little covers on there because the dogs couldn't get them to, to shoot off. So. so again, recliners are all electronic, super comfortable. The heat and vibrate. We do use the heat sometimes. So another really nice feature is the full size refrigerator. So this is a full size residential LG refrigerator. This is another selling point for us because that was important to us. So you can see double door, super big, super wide. You can put a lot in there. Big freezer as well, super deep. It's got double sliding door, one on the bottom. Also, didn't point this out right here. There's so many features. So this right here is the actual burner. So this is the stove top. So we, we do use those periodically. So they work great. They do get hot. And but most of the time we're we use a little convection top that we have. I'm sorry, induction top that we have that works really great. See how those just slip right back on there, slide right down. They don't rattle running down the road at all. So it's great. Something we thought was a little gimmick was the the fireplace so it's not a gimmick it will heat this whole area up so it's electric fireplace of course but it'll heat this whole area up. and so most of the time when it's cold we just run this don't run anything else you have storage all up above here storage all the way we just got us all organized there this is our pantry again it's all soft clothes double door these are deep these are our shallows. So, and again, when the this slide out is right here to the other side, when it's all the way in, you can still get to all of this. This is the uh, half bath. So once you go in, I'll go in with Rita and kind of show you. So it's a, it's a big size bath. So you got a big sink. It has a Mercerator toilet, which is a toilet that they use on um, like, uh, our, I mean, boats and stuff like that. So it's a, airplanes has the same similar. Again, storage all the way around. You can see some of Rita's deck, her uh, dog stuff on the side there. So it, this coach does come with two baths. So this is the half bath. This right here is the, we have solar on the roof. So this is actually the solar control. So I can monitor how much solar power we're pulling down which is, uh, again, and there's another great feature on this GT7. That's the uh, thermostat. So this is the bedroom. So it's a full-size king bed. 
and I actually use my phone or you could use the app, I mean the precision plex. This bed actually lays down, it comes down to about right here when we go to sleep at night. And again, plenty of room to walk through here. It doesn't close you in or anything, but when you travel, you do pull it up. This slide comes all the way in. Now, when this slide is all the way in, you cannot get back here. So when this slide is in, it basically stops you right here. It does have a pocket door. Um, so you can close it off if you need to. It locks for travel. This is our wardrobe area. So that's where we store all of our <clears throat> clothes, our shoes. Again, you feel how these doors are kind of tight, heavy, which is great. This all, by the way, I should have pointed out, this is all Amish made furniture. So, which is really, really pretty. It's got a nice finish to it. Again, all of the doors are soft closed. This is all storage down below. This pulls up here for additional storage. Again, there's storage everywhere. <clears throat> storage all along the top there, top of the bed. We also have <clears throat> a washer and dryer. And Reedy does use it a lot. So you just do smaller loads, so you wash more often. But it works a lot better than what you would think. As Again, just another benefit. This is the full bath. So you can... All of this is storage, storage here, storage here. Got Scott's lights at the top. You got your, you know, your blinds here. This is a pedal toilet. So, um, you know, they're both toilets work great, but we prefer the Mercerator toilet. If you'll come on in, you can actually see one of the modifications we did was the, the shower. Uh, let me open this. I'm not sure why that was closed. So you can see the uh, shower. The shower is very big shower, more than enough. And <clears throat> one thing we do, we were interested about it. We thought we were going to have to install instant hot, hot water, but it's more more than enough. So the fixtures, the fixtures on the uh, on the sinks are all nice. It's a water flow. So we uh, got electrical outlet in here as well. So anyway, this is a little tour of our RV, and we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any questions about anything you see in here, how does something work, how does something run, uh, just ask me. Ask down in the comments, and I'll respond to you and give you the best answer I can. This is a 2021-22 uh, Georgetown, Forest River, Georgetown GT7. So this is one of their top-of-the-line gas motor homes. Um, we really love it. One last thing I forgot to show you is we do have Ring installed. So I installed Ring um, in the motorhome. And the reason why I did that right here, the reason why I did that is so that we can watch the dogs when we're not in the motorhome. And then down here is some more of the Ring. So we've got the Ring installed right back there. And down here on the bottom is... CO2 listener and so what this does if the CO2 alarm goes off that ring listener will notify me on my phone so we know we need to get home something's not right it does come with a um, full Wi-Fi in here so on top of the motorhome is a wind guard we connect to Verizon cell service that gives us a full Wi-Fi in here and so then this broadcast you know protected Wi-Fi and it works pretty well you get out in some some remote remote areas uh, it's not so great, but what we're wanting to do as far as uploading video, watching Amazon Prime and all of that works perfect in here. So anyway, so I'm going to call that a good. So again, if you got questions, please ask, ask me in, down below. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and also go and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. All your subscribes and likes helps us grow our channel. So thank you guys.